So NVIDIA has come up with this new tool called Omniverse Audio to Face and as the website says it lets you quickly and easily generate expressive facial animation for your 3D characters and today I'm going to show you how that works for the metahumans in the Unreal Engine and um, it's a fairly simple process but you need to have like a couple of things set up in order to do that without any hassle otherwise you might be fumbling your way around a lot of stuff so just a quick note this would be a bit longer than the usual short tutorials um, I'm not really sure how to categorize this maybe like a medium one so do let me know in the comments and so here it goes first and foremost it says that you need to download the NVIDIA Omniverse uh, setup and stuff I've already done that you install and you get a launcher right so you open that up and then you install that from the launch section so I'll show that to you so if I look for Omniverse launcher um, that's that you go to not the news probably yeah yeah you go to the library and you can see that I already have it installed but if you go to exchange the first thing should be the Omniverse audio to face stuff so there should be an install button here just click that and you should be able to install it that easy um, we'll need the connectors so if you can click that and drop down and see all of this stuff but before that make sure you have Unreal Engine installed uh, the one which you're gonna use 4.27 4.26 whatever um, if I go and look for it I am using 4.27 uh, you can use 4.25, 4.26, I think both of them are also supported. Unfortunately, 5.0 is not supported. But yeah, whatever. So if you expand connectors and go all the way down, you can see the three different connectors for Unreal Engine. I'm going to do 4.27. I've already installed that. But if you go click that and install, then it's going to install some plugins for Unreal Engine. I think one of the plugins is going to be used. I'm not really sure because I didn't do the testing before the plugins. So yeah, um, just do that and make sure it's already installed for you. Once you are done with that, you know, it, it's the same. Just there's an install button and you click that and it installs it. You don't need to worry about too much stuff. Once that's done, yeah, you go to Nucleus and you need this additional uh, server kind of service for um, uh, one of the blend shapes you're going to use. So just um, choose a data path, um, put up a username, whichever works. Uh, I'm going to blur out the username and the email address. Um, but yeah, um, you can use whatever you feel like, um, professional, personal, I'm not really sure. It says it's different from your NVIDIA account, so I don't know, whatever works. I just give it a random one from the account which I have. And once you've done that, you can just hit complete setup. Um, it's gonna do something something. Uh, it's gonna install like about 150 MB worth of stuff. Once that's done, um, yeah, shouldn't take too long. Yeah, and it adds a local nuclear service, right? Um, let give it a while for it to load, and you're gonna see something there. So I think it's like a set of assets already given from Nvidia. So yeah, uh, if you click, click on localhost, that's all the stuff you're gonna use. We are looking at that Nvidia disk folder stuff there. That's where one of the assets which we need is gonna be. If you don't install the nuclear services, that's not gonna show up and that's gonna be a problem. So just go back to your library, launch audio to face and yeah, it says that you require drivers for Omniverse compatibility. Um, I and it recommends a older driver than the rather than the current one. So um, I'm not really sure. Uh, it says that the Tensor RT whatever engine doesn't start if you have incompatible drivers. But I didn't face any of those issues. So I don't know. Your mileage might vary. If it happens with you, then you might just download that driver and install it. Yeah, the Tensor RT engine, which it says is like loading here, it does for me. Um, that is why you can see all of the options here. Uh, if it doesn't load for you, then you might want to try um, getting the older driver. Yeah. So once that's done, let's just expand and see. Yeah. Um, it's a fairly simple thing. We just need to first, yeah. Uh, if you click on Omniverse and localhost, right? And see, uh, this is the original mesh which we are not going to use. We're going to use a different one. So if you go inside that folder and inside the NVIDIA folder, it's the locked one. And then you go into assets, um, audio to face, and samples, and blend shape solve. That's the one we're going to use. So go inside there and that's the USD, right? Uh, 
drag it and bring it into the stage part and then you can see a blue thing pop up we want to move the white one away um if clicking it doesn't bring you the uh, move widget or stuff just expand that and look for the mesh part and click on the mesh and that should give you like a handle to move it away oh uh, yeah you so then you yeah click here and then move to the, move it away so that's just you know, take it out of the way and click on the blue part because that's the one with blend shapes and that's the one we're going to use to export right so yeah so just once you're done uh go to the not the second character transfer the third one it's the a uh, it's the a to f data conversion perfect um and, the, and we need the blend shape conversion so if you just go and input mesh would be the, the long name that's the first white mesh and and so that uh, yeah that's the input and mesh and the second one is a blend shape mesh which is a neutral one which we currently just imported using that just set up blend shape solve and that should as you can see it smiles now so it's basically linking all of those uh, from the left to the right um and uh, you then you cho change the audio source directory and audio device um so this is where you have kept your wave files i have kept it um yeah here yeah basically yeah so it currently accepts only wave files for some reason so um just that um you, you select the wave files if you have different ones in the directory you select the one from the drop down which is i only have one so i just select that one um once you are done imported it already should just map it right and i'm not gonna play it next i'm gonna mute this section uh, because this is going to be a surprise uh, because the animation for this audio part is going to be at the end with Unreal Engine MetaHuman character. So yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. So, well, now if you hit P to play and then it rather than space, it's actually P. Um, and you can see there's like quite a good amount of movement already and the neural engine like works really fast so if you're not happy you might want to do a few changes so you have all of these options in post processing which you can use to change stuff i feel the default options are good enough for me and if i need any changes i can do them later in unreal engine themselves so I go to the data conversion tab, um, just do it export as USD skeletal animation. Um, it uh, You choose the folder where you want to output it uh, in the export directory. So I already have a folder defined where I do export stuff. So just select that, rename it so that you recognize it later on. Uh, something like UE 4.27 trial animation yeah that should that should work yeah change the playback rate whichever you feel is good for you i feel like you can go with 30 for now just for demonstration purposes then then you export that and it and then you export so when it exports it's basically running through the entire stuff again basically like baking um uh simulation kind of stuff if you have seen that happen in blender so yeah um something like that so it, it, it does the whole thing saves that and as a usd animation um it should be fairly quick once that's done you don't need basically to second close the program yeah i'm not really saving it so right yeah don't save um once that's done you don't need that as well so you can close it uh thank you page i don't need you anyways um uh, launch on your engine um it's gonna take a while to do that um yeah yeah the waiting part is shit but what can we do what can we do right so yeah i know i know i mean the, the entire problem with 3d stuff is just the waiting part i think it accounts for about probably more than 50 percent of your time I already had did one project and well but let's just do a new one so select one of the games do a blank project hit next uh, uh, name whatever I'd say face facial animation test yeah that sounds good right create project um, should be doing the shading and stuff um, 
So any you go to the plugins part and actually search for USD because that's one plugin we need to enable us to import USD. So search for USD and you're gonna see um, USD importer. Uh, yeah, that's what we need. Um, and then it says to restart, so restart the engine. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, once that's done, you can you can let it compile the shaders. It's not gonna affect us much, I guess. Go to new vulnerable default, and yeah, um, we basically need to import the metahuman. So, if you have already set up bridge, that's really good. Open up bridge. That's the quicksil bridge. Um, in there, I've already signed in. But if you go onto the third tab. That should be the metahuman um and yeah i've already downloaded my favorite my one that's aoi aoi v whatever aoi so yeah uh, i've already downloaded him because it takes quite a while to download them because they're in 8k resolution and so on and so forth yeah whatever um and with the unreal engine open hit export and it's gonna export it very easily Make sure that the Unreal Engine is open and the project which you need to export it on is open. Otherwise, you might have to deal with quite a few of the stuff you don't want to deal with. Once that happens, you're going to see all of that. Don't freak out. Uh, just enable the missing plugins, enable missing, enable missing, and yeah, it should be good to go. Mm, it tells you to restart. Do it. Don't wait for the shaders to compile. It wouldn't matter, they will restart anyway. Yeah, once it opens up, you see that the compilation of shaders has started again. Open up a new map again. Um, the previous one didn't make it, so rest in peace, I guess. Anyways, the meta humans is in the folder. Uh, open that up. You're gonna see the named folder for your character. Open that up. The first BP. That's the one which you need to compile so that we get the character. Double click the blueprint class, right? Um, should open up. Yeah. Once that opens up, click on viewport. And oh, that's good. It's already compiling for us. That's pretty fast maybe because i've already done it before well uh, it's gonna take a while just hit compile and it should compile that for you and it should be good to go for you to put in the viewport so and now you can see that it's there so drag and drop onto your level yeah uh, yeah i'm just setting the camera to uh, yeah eat red uh rotate it 90 degree towards the front let's face us man you need to face us right um yeah, slowing down the camera and going close. Right. Um, yeah, this seems good enough. You should be able to see. Um, once that's done, uh, add in a new level sequence, right? Um, and open that up, I guess. No, wait, we need to import more stuff. So, um, yeah, import the audio track which you're going to use, um, which you used to do the blend shape stuff. In audio interface, just select that audio track, get that in. Um, you need to also import the animation, so uh, let the shaders compile on its own. So, right, uh, click import facial animation. I think that option is missing when you are not uh, using the converters from the Omniverse. So, anyway, um, it's there. Click that. Um, select the USD file which you just created in audio interface and. Uh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. wherever it is, yeah, you see that, just, yeah, select that, change the skeleton to facial archetype skeleton, face archetype skeleton, yeah, um, hit OK, and then you should see a head, yeah, so if you double click the head, it's gonna see you a very, show you a very freaky smiling head, uh, running the animation which you had just done in audio to face. Looks a bit exaggerated, but yeah, that's alright. You can do the changes later on with the facial rig, so um, that's another long video and I'm not going to do that here. I'm just showing you how to import it, so. Uh, and any hiccups which I have faced, which you shouldn't face, anyways. Uh, once that's done, open up the level sequence. Um, in there, let's just bring it aside so that we can see. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, bring in the audio, drag and drop, should work. Generally, it doesn't work for me. I don't know for some reason. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Anyways, um, actor to sequence and BP away because I've already put it in viewport. So just that. So it's gonna take a while, but should come in. Uh, yeah, just that way. Um, and then you're gonna see a facial control board rig. 
The problem is that it stays on top and we need to bring in the animation. So click on track and go to animation and hit the animation which we just made and that's going to bring in the animation. Now, if you play it, it's still not going to play because the facial control board rig is at the top and it's controlling it for some reason. Just control and delete it. Select and delete it. You don't need it right now. So there you go. And now, if you hit play, you should see it happening. There you go. Right? So, um, not gonna add the audio yet. I'm gonna expand it. Um, let's do this and put it all the way out. And so the next bit of the audio is going to be the outro and I'll just let it play and yeah. The following voiceover is going to be displayed in the animation. As you can see, it does quite a satisfactory job of a preliminary lip sync animation. Of course, it requires some amount of cleanup before you can call it good. But it is a good start compared to doing everything from scratch. Thanks a lot for tuning in to this video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a great day.